Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we'll use CSS grid units to change the size of columns and rows. Uh, you can use absolute and relative units like pixel and EM uh, in CSS. Uh, in CSS grid to define the size of rows and columns. You can use these as well. FR, which sets the column or row to a fraction of the available space. Interesting. I've never even seen that before. One fraction, two fractions. Interesting. Auto, which sets the column or row to the width or height of its content automatically. Hmm. And then percentage, which suggests the column or row to the percentage width of its container. Here's the code. Here's the code that generates the output in the preview. Oh, okay. I think the code that generates the output in the preview. Interesting. So this is 50 pixels. This is 10%. This is two fractions, and this was one fraction. Hmm. One third. Interesting. This snippet creates five columns. The first column is as wide as its content. The second column is 50 pixels. The third column is 10% of its container. And for the last two columns, the remaining space is divided into three sections. Interesting. Um, two are allocated for the fourth column and one for the fifth. So one fraction and then two here. Hmm. Make a grid with these three columns whose widths are as follows. One fraction, 100 pixels, and two fraction. Oh, cool. So they just want us to modify the code. So we can just get rid of this, and what we want to make it is one fraction. We want 100 pixels. And you can already see that it's this one fraction. So this is turned to 100 pixels, and this is one fraction. And because one fraction, there's only one fraction on here, I think it, it uh, fills the, the whole space. It's like the whole space outside of the 100 pixels. And then the last we, we want to make two fractions. And so now the fractions are divided in two. Interesting. 100 pixels, one fraction, two fractions. Oh, yes, this is double the size of this because now there's three fractions in total. So this is one. This next thing is 100 pixels. And then this is two fractions. So those two thirds. We run the tests. I think they'll pass. Awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And we'll see you in the next lesson.